let's predict the products for when we have aluminum plus oxygen gas reacting. So what are the products going to be? When we look at it, the type of reaction, looks like we have aluminum and then oxygen, just two different atoms here. So it looks like the aluminum and the oxygen would combine, be a combination or a synthesis or reaction. And that would give us AlO. But the thing is, this is an ionic compound. We need to make sure the charges between aluminum and the oxygen are balanced. So for that, we can go to the periodic table and we can see right here, aluminum is right here. That always has a three plus ionic charge. And then oxygen, that's right here. That's going to be two minus. So right now, the three plus and the two minus, that's not balancing out. What we can do is use the crisscross method to make that happen. We can move the two here and the three here, get rid of these charges. And Al2O3, that's the formula for aluminum oxide and the charges they balance out. There's a link at the end of this video if you need help doing that. This equation isn't balanced. Let's balance it real quick. Let's make this oxygen number even by putting a two here. So two times three is six. So now I just put a three here. Two times two is four. I put a four here and that's balanced. There should be a link at the end of this video on how to balance that if you need help. But that's it. We predicted the products. We recognized we had two things, likely going to be a combination reaction. And then we balanced the ionic charge since we have an ionic compound. So this is Dr. B predicting the products of aluminum plus oxygen gas. We get aluminum oxide. Thanks for watching.